Power outages, a major issue for residents across the state during Thursday's storms. In the last two hours, we have learned that power has been restored at the water treatment facility in Forsyth County. Residents and businesses are still being asked, though, to conserve water until noon on Saturday, but there is no need to boil it. 11 Lives Bobeth Yates has more on the conditions there. That's right. The problem started at the water treatment plant and it's behind me for security reasons. We could not get on the facility, but you can still see one of the tanks in the distance. And what officials were telling us is that tank was full of water, but because they didn't have power, they were unable to get it from the tank to residents. Now, according to officials, yesterday storms left Forsyth County Department of Water and Sewer Facility without power, so they were temporarily unable to produce water at the plant. As such, officials Officials were requesting all water used to be limited to emergency purposes only. This is not just our residential customers, but it's residential, commercial, it's all of our customers. So, so the ask is, if you don't need to use the water, then don't use it. Today's not the day to do that. We feel confident within that 24-hour time frame, we will have 100% restored power from Georgia Power. And the water concern wasn't the only issue. Very widespread trees down, uh, multiple road closures. Emergency crews spent the day removing trees and down power lines, but officials say it could take a while to get everyone back up and running. Um, Sony MC gave word to us that they haven't seen damage like this widespread in the previous 85 years. Now that solution was again bringing in generators and officials say that was their plan D. They say their plan A, B and C had already failed. It's important to note that while while they were going through this, they were getting help from neighboring jurisdictions. They had the city of Cummings and Fulton County bringing in water to help residents and commercial buildings get by. But they say again, that was for temporary emergency use only because they wanted to be good stewards after they were getting so much help from other jurisdictions. Bobeth Yates, 11 Alive News.